Jarvis into the windup. Where gets a hit. Gets past the first baseman. And that's going to be the cycle for Brady Ware. Hitting for the cycle is an incredible feat. In three innings, he's hit a home run, a triple, a double, and now a single. Throwing a no-hitter, statistically even harder. Strikeout swing, and it's two away now. Doing them both in the same game, all but impossible. Pops it in the air. Unless you're San Diego native and current University of Indianapolis two-way star, Brady Ware. Brady Ware not only hits the cycle today, he gets the no-hit shutout complete game as well. I mean, I thought it was a pretty cool experience, but at the same time, you know, it's it's D2 baseball. It's not, you know, Major League Baseball. It's not the minor league. So I wasn't really sure with, like, how many people would really pick up on, you know, what happened. But obviously after, you know, getting the, the attention after that was, it was just kind of wild. You know, now I realize how much bigger it was than I thought it was. Brady Ware. Hit for the cycle. That's every single type of hit you can have in baseball. Whoa. And pitch to no hitter. Brady Ware, D2 Baseball, University of Indianapolis. I didn't think it was going to blow up on this, at this scale. I don't know if you heard about this or read about this, but Brady Ware for the University of Indianapolis yesterday. Threw a seven inning no hitter with 11 strikeouts. Not a bad day. And then he hit for the cycle. Really not a bad Who is day. this guy? The former Poway Titan and St. Catherine Firebird was an impressive 4-for-4 four four at the plate with 5 RBIs. He added 7 no-hit frames with 11 strikeouts, making many people draw comparisons to baseball's best player. I almost feel like I'm playing into it here, so I don't want to ask, but I'm going to do it anyways. How, how many Shohei Otani references have you heard since Friday to this moment? As many as you can, can imagine. I mean, I, I'm kind of upset a little bit. He, I DM'd him on Instagram, and I didn't get anything back. So I was, I was hoping I'd get a little bit of something from him. And to make this fairy tale story further more impressive, Ware's catcher, Will Spear, and the Greyhound's Southpaw have a bond no kids ever want to share. Yeah, we, we have a pretty good connection. Just uh, We both had uh, unfortunate situations with our parents. You know, both of them passed away. His was a little bit more recent. Um, but my dad passed away, you know, a couple years ago. And... You know, just being able to have him behind the plate catching me was, you know, I couldn't ask for anybody else. That last I was made, he's the first guy I turned and looked for in that situation. What did that mean for them to accomplish that together, given what they've been through? You know, it, baseball is what a, I mean, I, I can't explain it. It's a special bond and, and like for them to share that moment too for forever. It just means I'm just so happy for both those guys. A moment Brady and Will can indeed have forever. And a moment that will last as one of the greatest single game performances in baseball history. It was just unbelievable. You know, it's still, it, it is still right to this day, just keeps gaining more and more traction. I didn't really expect anything out of it. And, you know, a couple hours later, I was getting ESPN and MLV notifications. And, you know, kind of after that, it just kind of blew up. So it's been, it's definitely been a whirlwind. I'm Jake Gariani. CBS 8.